Deep vein thrombosis or DVT is a serious medical condition that occurs when a blood clot forms in a deep vein, typically found in the legs. DVT can be life-threatening if the clot breaks free and travels to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism, or PE. Despite being more common than many realize, affecting people of all ages, certain factors do increase the risk, including prolonged immobility, surgery and certain medical conditions. Understanding DVT is crucial for early detection and treatment. Symptoms can be subtle or even absent, making awareness all the more important. Early diagnosis is key to preventing serious complications such as PE, post-thrombotic syndrome, and even death. Knowing the risk factors is the first step. If you experience any symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. Fortunately, DVT is treatable, especially when caught early. DVT often presents with a range of symptoms, though some individuals may experience no noticeable signs, which makes recognizing potential symptoms crucial. Common symptoms include swelling in the affected leg, usually accompanied by pain that may feel like cramping or soreness, often worsening with standing or walking. Changes in skin color with the affected area appearing red or discolored and the skin feeling warm to the touch are other potential signs. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. It's also important to note that these symptoms can indicate other conditions as well, and only a healthcare professional can diagnose DVT accurately. Diagnosing DVT often involves a combination of physical examination and laboratory tests. These tests help confirm the presence of a blood clot and provide information about the blood's clotting ability. One common test is the D-dimer blood test, which measures a substance released when a blood clot breaks down. Elevated D-dimer levels can indicate the presence of a clot, although it's not specific to DVT and can be elevated in other conditions. Imaging tests such as ultrasound are often used to visualize the veins, detect blockages caused by blood clots, and assess blood flow. Section 4. The PT and APTT Puzzle Understanding Blood Clotting Time Prothrombin time or PT and activated partial thromboplastin time, known as APTT, are two pivotal blood tests. They measure how long it takes for blood to clot, serving as crucial tools in diagnosing bleeding disorders and monitoring anticoagulation therapy. PT specifically measures the clotting time of a blood sample and is particularly sensitive to clotting factors influenced by vitamin K. On the other hand, APTT tests clot formation through a different pathway. Abnormal results in PT or APTT can indicate various conditions such as liver disease, vitamin K deficiency, and certain genetic disorders, making these tests essential for managing patients on blood thinners. Section 5. The Urgency of Early Detection, Preventing Complications The early diagnosis of DVT is paramount to preventing potentially life-threatening complications. When diagnosed promptly, treatment is generally successful in preventing clot growth and embolism. Pulmonary embolism, or PE, is the most serious complication of DVT. It happens when a part of the clot breaks off and travels to the lungs, obstructing blood flow, which can lead to symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, and even death. Another complication is post-thrombotic syndrome, or PTS, which can develop weeks or months after DVT causing chronic pain, swelling, and ulcers in the affected leg. Early detection and treatment of DVT significantly reduce the risks of these complications. Section 6. Taking Charge, Preventive Measures and Lifestyle Changes While not all risk factors for DVT are preventable, certain lifestyle modifications can significantly reduce the likelihood of developing this condition. These include engaging in regular physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, and staying hydrated. Individuals at increased risk, such as those with a family history of DVT or those undergoing surgery, should discuss preventive measures with their doctor. These measures may include wearing compression stockings, taking medication, or both. Early ambulation after surgery is particularly crucial as it encourages blood circulation and reduces the risk of clot formation. Additionally, avoiding prolonged periods of immobility like during long flights or car rides is essential. By understanding the risk factors, recognizing the symptoms, and adopting preventive measures, individuals can actively safeguard their health against this potentially life-threatening condition.